Ghost Runner is most impressive. That said, some things will need to change for the full title's release. We'll get to that. Cyberpunk demo is incredibly short. I beat it for 12 minutes, and that was probably 3 to 4 minutes too long based on my utter incompetence and thick headed inability to master the basic mechanics of the game. And what are these basic mechanics? Ghost Runner, in short, is all about movement. The faster you go, the better you'll do. And based on the display at the end, the one that told me it took me 12 minutes to beat this tiny level, this game is going to be aiming to capture the attention of all the speedrunners out there. Which makes sense on account of what the gameplay is. A fast-packed adrenaline rush, which punishes mistakes. Fail as I did to grasp the mechanics originally, I was grinning through this like a schoolboy. Everything about this world accentuates style. So I hope not over substance alone. Dark, metallic, neon lit and more. This puts an X on many of the visual checkboxes typical for a work of cyberpunk fiction. It's a very punishing game. One shot on your toast, which demands that you make no mistakes whatsoever while executing a fair amount of very identical enemies. At least in this demo, I imagine there will be more coming. Thankfully, a mistake sets you only as far back as immediately outside the group of enemies you have to dispose of. The game is attempting to go for these long flow moments of perfectly executing enemy after enemy in between parkour filled sections. I like this rhythm, and I can't wait to dig my teeth in the full game. I've done a bit of exploring since playing this one over on Reddit, and apparently there's also a bullet deflection mechanic which the demo does not notify the player of. Since the demo is the very beginning of the game, I suppose the deflection tutorial is a bit further along. But it would have been great if whoever released the demo build had gone to the trouble of leaving a message behind. Something like, hey, press Z or Q or E or whatever the button is, and you will be able to deflect bullets. My biggest issue, it has to do with the dash button. Shift, which doubles as a time dilution ability whenever you use it in the air. So I may joke about how horrible I am, and believe you me, there is truth in that. I am conscious of the fact that if these two actions, dash and the time dilution mechanic, had a key binding each, I wouldn't have struggled with the need to press several buttons in very specific and careful ways, while avoiding fire. I also think that the game would do well to allow the players to disable this time dilution thing in general, and just allow us to dash away from the bullets in real time. That would make things even more challenging. As for the music, I have to say, it's excellent. Me and my Shadowrun Game Master are going to be making such good use of this amazing synthwave. The music makes the game more than any other element, based on how much style, how much substance it offers the world. The man behind this is Daniel Deluxe, who some of you may know produced the OST for Desync. I enjoyed the graphics, and the game never dropped below 60 FPS, on the highest graphic preset on my MSI GE75, which is equipped with the RTX 2060 video card. I bet I could push it even higher. But with so little time to spend in the world. What I got out of Ghost Runner made me more than happy enough. A nice options menu is there too, offering plenty of graphical preferences to tweak with. And an FOV slider. Overall, I reiterate, the Ghost Runner demo is most impressive. I look forward to learning when the full game will be getting a release date. Perhaps I'll even review it. Who knows? Only the future can tell. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.
container released. to meet you. Face to face, that is. Now, let's take a look inside. This may feel a little strange. <laughs> 